How to find the inverse of a matrix using the identity matrix method. In our previous videos, we explored another method. In, our, in just our just concluded video, we talked about how we find the inverse of a matrix, word, but we were using a different method from this one. Now, in this method of finding the inverse of a matrix using the identity matrix method, we are using this property that when you multiply a matrix by its inverse, you're supposed to get an identity matrix. In our previous video, still, we talked about the identity matrix, and we all know what it is. An identity matrix is simply a matrix with the elements in their leading diagonal being one. If you look at this, we have two diagonals. We have this diagonal and that diagonal. This diagonal is what we call the leading diagonal. And if all the elements in the leading diagonal are one, then that is called an identity matrix. All the elements are one and the rest are zeros. So in this, we all we need to do is to get the matrix whose inverse we want to find. We substitute it here and we forget the identity matrix, substitute it here and we try and get the inverse. We are going to use the same examples we used in our previous videos. Find the inverse of the following matrices. We are going to find the inverse of this matrix and we are going to find the inverse of this matrix, but we are going to use the identity matrix method. This is how we do it. First of all, we want to find the matrix B. That's the matrix given. So B, matrix B, when you multiply it by its inverse, which we are denoting like that, is supposed to give us an identity matrix I. So what's that matrix B? The matrix B is that. It is 2, 4, negative 3, negative 5. That is matrix B. We multiply it by its inverse. Now this is what we are looking for. Let's call its inverse A, B, C, D. So when we multiply it by A, B, C, D, then we are supposed to get the identity matrix. The identity here is 1, 0, 0, 1. So our task is simple. To find the values of A, B, C, D. When we find the values of A, B, C, and D, this matrix is the, the inverse matrix that we are looking for. So here we are going to multiply. We are going to use matrix multiplication. We are multiplying this row by that column, then this row by that column, then this row by that column, then this row by that column. So it's going to be like this. So it's going to be 2 times A, which is 2A, uh, plus 4 times C, which is 4C, then, uh, then this row by that column, 2 times B, which is 2B, plus 4 times D, which is 4D, then negative 3 times A, which is negative 3A, plus negative 5 times C is minus 5C, then we have this times that, 3 times that is negative 3b, then negative 5 times d is negative 5d. This is equal to our identity matrix, which is 1, 0, 0, 1. So you're going to find that we're going to have, we are having several expressions. We have 2a plus 4c is equal to 1. Negative 3a minus 5c is equal to 0. 2b plus 4d is equal to 0. Then negative 3b minus 5d is equal to one as in when we add this we get that so we formulate uh, from this we are going to formulate simultaneous equations from which we are going to find the, the unknowns so in this case it's going to be this 2a plus 4c 2a plus 4c is equal to 1 that is one simultaneous equation then negative 3a minus 5c is equal to 0. So from here we can find the values of A and C. So when we find the values of A and C, we can use substitution method. We make this one of the unknowns in this, and un, uh, the subject of the formula. Let's make C the subject of the formula. So when we continue with this, when we transfer this to that side, it's going to become negative 3A is equal to 
5c. When we divide both sides by 5, by 5, we end up with our value of c here becoming negative 3 over 5a. That's our value of c. So if our value of c is negative 3 over 5a, so it means we are going to substitute for c in the first equation. So where there is c, we put this. So it means our first equation is going to become this. So our first equation, which was originally 2a plus 4c is equal to 1, is going to become 2a plus 4. Now our value of c is now this one. 4 times negative 3 over 5a is equal to 1. And so the rest is math. We now work out and try and get the value of a. So this is going to become 2a. This times that is minus 12 a over 5 is equal to 1. So our value of a here, 2a minus that is over 1. LCM is 5. 5 divided by 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10a minus 12a is equal to 1. 10 minus 12 is minus 2a over 5 is giving us 1 and our value of a here is negative 5 over 2 so we've got in our value of a so now that we've got value of a it means we can also get value of c by simply substituting it here so if our value of a is negative 5 over 2 it means that our value of c is simply going to be negative 3 over 5 times a which is negative 5 over 2 times a which is negative 5 over 2 and so here we shall end up with uh, getting our answer as ne as positive 3 over 2 that's our value of c so now that we have used this we have used these two simultaneous equations to get the value of a and c so we are going to use this pair also to get the values of b and d just in the same way so here we have 2b plus 4d is equal to 0 that's one equation then we also have negative 3b minus 5d is equal to 1 as another simultaneous equation so we are going to combine those two simultaneous equations we solve them and get our value of b and d so still we are going to use substitution method we are going to this is equation 1 this is equation 2 so we'll get equation 1, we make one of these the subject of the formula. Let's, if equation 1 is 2b plus 4d is equal to 0, so meaning when that one goes that side, it becomes 2b is equal to negative 4d. When you divide both sides by 2, this moves with that, b becomes 2, 4 divided by 2 is negative 2d. So if b is negative 2d, it means that in our second equation, we substitute for b and where there is b we put this there so it means our second equation is going to become like this our second equation which was originally negative 3b minus 5d is equal to 1 is going to become negative 3 where there is b we substitute it with that into negative 2d minus 5d is equal to 1. So negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. 6d minus 5d is equal to 1. And then we end up with our 6d minus 5d is d is equal to 1. as our answer. Since we have our value of d as 1, so it means we can also get our value of b by substituting here. So it means our value of b is going to be negative 2 times d, which is 1. This is going to become negative 2 as our answer. So now we have gotten the values of A, the value of B, the value of C, and the value of D. We got our value of A as negative 5 over 2, and, our val and the value of C as 3 over 2. A is negative 5 over 2, and our value of C is 3 over 2. Then our value of B 
is negative 2 and our value of d is 1 just like we did in our previous question and that is our answer that is how we find the inverse of a matrix using the identity method this brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching for more videos i encourage you to subscribe to this channel and also share on other platforms i hope you watch the next video for example academy this is an old ranga kuramia